Sudan's Angels is the title. The name of this poem for my father, sung and dance man for my father. Thank you. We only go to see a show so I can watch that song and dance man. Daddy sang those words for 40 years. A tap dancing man on the stage. He tipped his hat and twirled his cane, told a few jokes and sang his refrain. The song and dance man. He loved his work. It's what he did best. Charmed every audience, which was never a test. A wink of his eye and the ladies did suggest a song and dance man. There were no drugs or booze or cigarettes to choose. Very clean, so refined. Everything was groomed, polished, and shined. I was proud to know that he was mine. Oh, his extraordinary life meeting with the queen, singing in Japanese, going to the Fiji island was daddy's extreme African cuisine for the song and dance man. Mr. Entertainer and the cabaret shows, feathered hats on doll faces made him all aglow. Pretty skirts and sassy smiles how show business turned its dial, and their hearts were always to a song and dance man. Yet as the days and years went by, age crept in. He took one deep breath, holding the hand of the angel of death. There were no whispers, no shouts. Sometimes promises, sometimes there were doubts. I saw him in my head, the charm he spread. And if you listen, you will hear tap dancing feet in your ears. Tap dancing feet, tap dancing feet. Tap tap, a song and dance man. Thank you. page. This is a love poem. It's called On Wednesday. There he is, leaning against the building, watching the rush of the tireless city, waiting. My heart pounding faster, I am excited knowing that he will touch me soon. I sashay closer to his back and a scent of melon, rose, and orchid fills the air. It's China musk. A gleam, a shimmer. He remembered to wear it. He kisses my cheek and we walk exchanging glances and sentiments that soften the soul, escaping into an evening still sunlit. Thank you.